What's up? We're in the next pod. Please go check out the previous pod to gauge your bearings. Guys, I implore you to listen to the last pod because I really hate to have to recap, right? But anyway, I in the previous pod, I was basically talking about how it is that I was prepared to reconcile with my ex. And we were supposed to connect together to talk. And he stood me up. And it was shocking to me because I didn't understand what was going on. My heart was broken. My friend could tell that I was about to cry. But I told myself, I'm so kyla, I mean, I'm so kyla. And just when I'm busy pacing up and down wondering what's going to happen... The mother calls me, right? I was busy calling him, my ex. But like I said, phone your really off, right? The mom is then that the one that calls me. I'm a little bit panicked, thinking that the mom is gonna tell me he's been in an accident, or was he, or he, whatever, right? Instead, the mom is like, "Hi, Karabo Unjani," and I'm like, "Hi, Ma, how are you?" Like at this stage, I, I of course had the mom's number on my phone. So when she called me, initially I was worried, and then when she spoke to me in a calm voice, not crying, not like frantic and throwing her toys out the car, I realized there's nothing wrong with my boyfriend, and I. Also, then it also dawned on me that the mother is trying to stand in the gap for the son. So all throughout our relationship, whenever my ex-boyfriend wanted to mess up or was actually messing up with me, the mother sometimes would be like, I'll call her on your behalf and I'll talk to her to basically soften her up that, you, you know, you might be able to come back into her life again. And my ex would always be like, ma, she's my girlfriend. I can handle my woman. <laughs> like proper, I don't need your help. Right? The mother was like that. He, she, she loved me for her son. But Wanahai didn't want to listen. Right? That was what was good. Very well. Um, so like the, the previous occasion, the mother's the, after I called her on some, where's your son? Like, really? I haven't seen him in a minute cause I was freaking out. Ultimately she confessed that he's been home and I could tell that she was trying to cover the fact that he's been home all along cause she tried to make it look as if though he only just rocked up on the Wednesday, but I could tell with her tone that that was not true. Right. We broke up because of that. We ended up getting back together because remember I went to that funny dingy house and after going there, I wanted my man back very well. Uh, cool. This time around, we'd been broken up for like two months and in that time, his mom likely was like where's Garabo I've noticed you're not going to her place anymore on the weekends what's going on what's this you can't let Garabo go blah blah he was basically getting pressure from the mother Archer in these streets not only that in and of himself he didn't want to lose me right uh but again I also kind of like the mom was all up in his case on some work on it work on it work on it and he just could not ignore her I don't know if Yena, he was like I mean I'm done with Garabo please mother just leave me alone but or whether or if he was like ish, 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 ish. like I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Ultimately, he is the one that one that I, I got to confirm that there was something that was freaking my ex out about me. He, it was arresting him. He could not be in my presence, guys. He has a demonic-ish, man. You know, when you dabble. I finally gave my life to Jesus if I was that wrestled for. Kiss na Holy Spirit. What in the world do you think I am today? Now that I'm filled, guys. Frankly, a force to be reckoned with is that basic. Anyway, whatever. So something in my ex was fretful and fearful of who and what I am. The thing about involvement in the occult as well is that they sometimes know who is a Christian or what Christian activity is going on. And never sang khone. Never sang khone, but they kept on, I believe, pressurizing my ex to basically khwana me, handle me, get his way around me, and whatever under heaven it is that I am, uh, or I was becoming, all right? They were targeting me through him. Whenever he tried to come back and do a thing, nasa khon. I had prayed that prayer asking God for a sign, and the sign was an, a, a vehement manifestation of demons. It was vehement. And he could not be in my presence kindly as a man that was mine because the Holy Spirit would not allow him in my space in that capacity. He was wrestled. Do you understand? Wrestled. He didn't know what he did. He had no idea what under the world, under heaven, he had just concluded. And it separated us, put a gulf between him and I. A passionate romance that now was inevitably going to end. It, it had to. One way God was prepared to give this man me as a bride and he you know cordially rejected it hoping to still get me as a bride but on his terms and god was like no and it broke him into 10 million pieces because i was the love of his life i was his friend he lost me because he couldn't have me as a satanist god would have nothing to do with it his mother calls me i take the call i hear the tone realize he's not dead or dying hi Karabo, how are you eh nancy you know he's he's a little bit caught up he asked me to call you just to let you know that he's not going to be able to make it today so she's speaking zulu and i'm using english because i don't want you guys not to understand what's being said here let you know that he's not going to be able to see you today uh you know unfortunately he's tied up and he asked me to call you to let you know because he can't get to his phone at the moment um he just wanted me to let you know that he can't make it i was like okay ma like proper like okay ma like okay
okay i don't want to fight with baby Ugh, i keep mentioning his name i don't want to fight with nancy's mom all right i did not want to fight with nancy's mom and be like why is he making you call me why doesn't he call me this is a war between me and nancy so i basically pretended to the mother that i understand all right um thank you for letting me know bye ma but i immediately knew be that because of my memory of how his mother has historically tried Ugum Kulmela for me when he was in a season of insanity. I knew that this is exactly what the mother was doing. Literally standing in the gap for her son until he sobers up and stops being dumb. Because I had a feeling he was right there. His mother asking him, you have a meeting with Garabo. Why aren't you going? And Nancy's like, I don't want to go. I'm not like, uh, I'm tired. My bones are heavy. Ma, um, and the mother slipped into her bedroom probably and decided that she is going to do damage control until her son snaps out of whatever it is that it was taking him over and so she made an excuse for him hoping to talk him sense into him and let him know that you cannot lose this woman mother's love for his son realizes that there is a really great woman in this boy's life boy at this point right really great woman in this boy's life and frankly i as a mother as anka mohona i as a mother i didn't manage to subdue my son and the, the life he was living this woman rocked up and basically saved my child i'm gonna lose my child because every time karabo is like whenever things fall apart between them he becomes self-destructive he cannot lose this woman it's like me now i was on suicide watch basically preventing a man from snuffing lines of cocaine until he ods and also watching a man pr trying to prevent him from like doing something criminal that's going to get him arrested like i was like, i was that i was keeping that man in a bunch with sticky tape because he would not make his own sober decisions to be strong on his own i was like i cannot do it i'm not going to be sticky tape for this brother mama like i will like a proper will i never said that to the mother i just said okay that's all i did thank you for letting me know i guess nonsense i looked at my girl and i was like he made his mama call me my friend was there remember the baker i was like she i was like sister 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 girl unonzi when's mama when's a more high rank for nelly girl nancy made his mama call me girl like what we gonna do when they come for you zoom to working on us but it pays the bills working on us but it pays the bills yeah. kind of thing that you the erica bar do in the background if i like what told the silence just silence me and my girl just swing left to right to old school erica bar do that's what was needed but instead i was like he made his mama call me girl <laughs> And my friend was like, hey, son. <laughs> mm, the pain, you guys. And the anger, fury. As I was seeing red and yellow. <laughs> I, mean, I was seeing caution tape flashing in my eyes. Me, I was seeing murder roll. Had it coming. He only had himself to blame. This dude was about to be popped. Cicero, lip shits, like six any of those guys that got killed in cell block tango ever to our sing red and yellow and the red and the yellow and black was the caution tape around the crime scene and the red was his blood <laughs> i was seeing red <laughs> i was like lo mon lon am sor meaning so yeah tanya and the orange is the new black like proper cell block tango cicero lipshits he had it coming he had it coming he only had himself to blame i didn't do it but if i did it it was a murder but not a crime but the holy spirit was like you asked me for a sign you asked me for a sign so while there was caution tape there was also a man the and the fire extinguisher basically just kind of you know eradicating my murderous intent i i I didn't i wasn't healing and i guess i'm falling i was starting to do better this guy contacts me i'm all excited i'm doting i'm adoring of the prospect of being with my man and then he stands me up and his mama called me i was like your mama's the one that wants to be with the sister not you i'm jolly no more i could do i'm not dating your mama your mama cannot love me more than you love me because on that day it's gonna be a weird little strange awkward like anomalous weird freaky little relationship where 
my your mother and I have basically like put you in some diapers that you might be a neat little boy. Dude, you gotta love me like a fat kid loves cake. Against all odds, even if your mama hated me, you were supposed to basically against all odds try and break past to be with me. Otherwise, kita begitu la dem mewahau. And when then our marriage fizzles and does funny strange things, am I gonna gossip you with your mama? I'm gonna be one of those brides. I'm not gonna be one of those women that are busy calling a man's mother to get a man in shape. I'm not doing it. Just in the same way that I was not about to be a mistress to a dude that I genuinely had feelings for that was trying to make out of me Dej loaf to Jacques. Uh-uh. I was like, I'm not going to marry your mom. I'm not going to be in a relationship with your mom. And I appreciate that there are so many women in this world that really have a hard time with mothers-in-laws. I would have had the best mom-in-law in the world because she would have thought I was the best thing since sliced bread and I never would have had any issues. Mom-in-law that would not expect me to go and black in my knees just to impress her because all I did was save her son I was gonna be a very happy bride go ahead it was gonna be a beautiful day it's a wedding because I'm not I'm very happy that was like pushed down the aisle by the gale force winds of the mom's insistence we're not doing it I'm not doing it I'm hot me I'm flying gorgeous I kwen dot amino zong gi chata reluctant ling obu mawa konu pizu ya insista. Asus wa yenza di deng bruam. Mm. Kimu pila kake lama kanus katlong bo raki hod. Ki so hard, grand shab, that one of your boys dampi wished our relationship because he don't fall in love with me. I am doing it. Le balang. Le balang obu uti. Kelika le bala mawa hao sham kamorata. She's precious, but not enough to marry you because she said to you that do it or you will die. You gotta want me. If you don't want, it's alright, do. I walk down the aisle to some other do. I'm lovable, don't you see? I done transformed the brother. I can do it again. I don't mind. But you gotta be the one to let me know that you're gonna let me go. Don't ever try to come back. What's got on bar, guy? Get on to wiki. Already can't roll with cut cut right now. Get up on the grand shop. Or can I let me see if I have black girl magic? But I don't want to fight because I'm trying to be a woman of peace. So I'm just gonna play some Erica bad dude with some girls of mine. Pinjam will sway left to right while eating her baked goods. Renone. And I guess figure out how we're gonna get through this together. Kitaba right. I spoke to my girl in the apartment there. We never went to the mall. She baked, finished baking, put frosting on the cake, and ultimately left while I was swallowing my tears and my wrath and my murderous desires. When my friend left, that's when <laughs> steam engine doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> That's when fire came. I don't want to throw a scene in front of my girl. Her cake might have not been finished because she would have run out of the house. <laughs> so my girl left with her baby shower cake. And I'm in my apartment alone. And the red is starting to become black and blue. Because now I'm seeing bruises. <laughs> I wanted to talk to this gangster. Enough with the SMS. <laughs> he wasn't answering his phone. And at some point when I was calling and calling and calling and calling because he knew I would throw my toys at the cart, he just started to hang up. There was a time when he would let the phone ring until he went to voicemail. Nah, this time he was pressing reject. Reject. I was like, insane. what I do? I went from anger to insecurity. And I was wondering, what did I do? Why are you being like this to me? Why are you hurting me? like this seriously is it over remember how every time we would break up and we would make up basically our rationale or his rationale was always it doesn't make sense for us to not be together because that's just who we are supposed to be together and here it is and i was like but it doesn't make sense for us to be together so why are you doing this i went from anger to sorrow and feelings of so much exorbitant rejection that i just felt like i was so worthless here it is that a dude had just basically told me be my side piece or get out and i cut him off so i was feeling insecure but then again i was the one out here trying to ransack a relationship i was a homeworker in that situation so i had that situation coming i deserve to be rejected that way uh, but it still was rejection and that rejection here it is that now a man that when everything else was falling apart and when everybody else was treating me like trash he was there now he's rejecting my calls when i'm bringing it up a storm blasting his phone i went from like i said angry to insecure and sad to angry again 
to insecure and sad i sent them text message after text message after text message basically cussing him out telling him it's over you're such a like this that that i was yeah calling him names and whatnot i couldn't understand what was happening at this point the mother's like i i guess pelile like yeah so like she literally watched the building cat like topple a what crash and burn that was built over five years that his son had basically been responsible for detonating and it was our relationship she watched it happen and there was nothing she could do she stood in the like sidelines basically teary eyed but you know like i said i was not dating his mama i was dating him i was not dating his baby sister i was dating him i was not dating his cousins who liked me his aunties his grandmother i was dating him and this dude went on right ahead and put some dynamite in some building that we were building for some years and it shattered me that he wasn't even trying to reconcile. Ong Ladile, this guy literally fished me from ch from chilling because I was starting to heal. He called me and got me all excited again and then did that. Here, but I hate all of this reminiscent chatter because it just brings back all the, like, you know, attached emotions. But we gotta get through this conversation because it's about time we get to the point. Very well, in your dog. Cussing him out, cussing him out. Doesn't do anything, doesn't respond. Can I ignore Rajon? No. I'm boiling. I'm, I'm basically bleeding the color purple. Like proper, my blood is, is dead. It's getting cold. And out is coming, oozing purple. Mm. There ain't nothing going on. Like, that's what's good. How not that? Not that. How not that? How not that? How not that? How I sleep in anger. I wake up with tears crusted up around my eyes. Yeah, the talk was saying it's a hard knock because. I slept in tears very well. Mm. <sighs> Prepare to go to work in the morning. Tell myself I'm gonna be strong. I just it's not long ago since I got a promotion. I'm a project manager now and I got meetings. I got a life to live. I got a future to build. I'll I'll heal. I'll heal. I told myself I'll heal. Okay. Monday comes, Tuesday comes, Wednesday, and I'm still saying I'll heal. I stopped calling him. I stopped calling him. I stopped blasting his phone with text messages. I just was like it fall. And indeed, I'm continuing in the office and it's getting better the days are progressing and it is getting better i believe i'm on the phone every day with my girl on some hey girl who are they she's out doing these streets putting band-aid on my unfortunate cancer but anyway at least i got comfort i got friends who are talking to a sister mm -hmm. one of my girls was so angry she was so upset eh? but when that girl was always kind of like you know violent when it comes to the way that guys were treating us she was like get you garabo get you from the beginning girl <laughs> okay, that guy didn't make sense for you can chill out. I was like girl don't add fuel to the fire plum and make like a flower it's to come your plum <laughs> I, I, I could just tell like I mean, I'm sick and tired of these guys and then she would hop into another conversation about another one of our friends like deadbeat boyfriends she'd be like Yo, hey, but then we're going to put out this guy get chill out. but that means I, I told you so God, I was like Yo, girl chill thank you I appreciate the fire and the fervor just don't go and break his house down that's for me to do i'll put some like air in his tires i get to do that not you what you look at okay mm. yeah the comfort worked it helped it really did the comfort with the friends did help i will not lie yes it did uh, i was here on the phone pretty much almost like we're in between meetings in between lunch whatever come see me yet another girl with whom we were like yes 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 mm. Ish, yeah no but i would then go to my apartment all by me lonesome and feel it but it got better as the days progressed as the week ensued lo and behold we enter into the following week i spend my first weekend in this cold icy atmosphere of it's over i guess okay yeah went to church on sunday it made me feel better i started to like you know enjoy the music i get get the gang it was really nice like right i was at rayma mm. and i'm still with my girls get chill okay sisters i then got close with yet another friend and she was instrumental actually frankly in the attempted healing because frankly no one actually healed me until jesus rocked up right um this friend had gotten divorced from an abusive boyfriend that started out absolutely doting and adoring like my ex and we had so much in common that every day we were talking and she was the source of my survival until this particular random new thing happened then i became inconsolable <laughs> Yeah, this friend of mine literally here all day. Go for noon, go sebeting at home. When I got there, we would talk until basically it was time to sleep in the morning. We were, yeah, 
wang season ya mtana she my high school friend right so the one wa ko baker lena na from high school but this was the another high school friend who had gotten divorced from a dude that turned all hard knock dead beat confusing the living daylights out of her cuz once upon a time he loved her so much my friends helped god did use them but then they all went pear shaped eventually hmm. when a person gets called out of the world weird stuff happens anyway whatever cool beans i'm in now the second week and it's getting better indeed as time progresses All right, and then that's when my ex, after a week of silence, I told you guys already, he was the type to make me come down, look poor like Kala before he comes back. All right, he contacts me, and I start to calm down. Yes, the gullibility. Not even it wasn't so much gullibility, but when you love a guy and you you literally realize that he's messing up, so he'll stop. And Loki, I was basically kind of hoping that he will fix himself and just like you can't lose me. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Was our relationship punchline when we? got back together as not being together doesn't make sense so since i imagined he would be like it doesn't make sense whatever demons were up in that guy or all up in him made him make a decision that confirms that it was indeed over like i had broken up with this guy he had messed up but he made me feel like he dumped me Okay, he calls me. I'm thinking finally he's waking up to smell the silly coffee. I answer the phone because I'm not immature like him to hang up on you when you try to call me. Hello, and my hello is like without attitude. Hello, el elias is why nice saying hello. Naha, they hating crab. Hello, going like a hello. Kaka like a hello. Hello, hello. Njan dene no shoto kigere mo mag hello. Okay. He's like, "Eh, Karabo, uh I've got some paperwork right now that I drafted for my business. I remember I put you as a silent partner. You need to sign yourself out. I cannot just remove you." Yo, my heart, guys. Yar, I'm expecting this guy to be like, "Baby, I'm sorry. Look, I've been a jerk." And instead he tells me, "Okay, so this is the final thing. It's actually really truly over Peli Lana sisters." Um Uh well since we're obviously not ever going to be together I'm not trying to have you be on my paperwork next thing you be trying to claim a portion of my business I hear I so did not see that that deed broke me into 10 million pieces because it confirmed it was over I thought that this finally would ultimately end up my husband and that right now he was going through a stupid phase I didn't understand and then he sends me he pay he tells me that he's going to come to my apartment to drop off paperwork with me to remove me as a partner in his business cuz he I told you that he made me a partner because he wanted to feed male there and he could have used his sister but he used me because remember we were going to get married so he might as well use his future wife right you know Angel Luguti wants to remove me from his business guys not that i was trying to get a piece of his like business all that that did to me was shadow me because it confirmed it was over that's what hurt as he i didn't know how to reply i was like it's like he, it was a taser the thing that he said it took a minute to register right fine ultimately when it registered i was like ang funu po na i want to see you in the flesh fax me that nonsense or scan to email please i'll sign it and send it back to you he was like i can't send it to you via fax to email or even fax cuz i need your physical actual signature in living color we can have it copy pasted not getting copy um like a copy machine right it cannot be a copy it has to be the original yo guys i was like i don't want to i'm from now i'm from kenya i'm going to come and go back like so many companies and so many official documents they are accept in fax to email format just like i'll go to the police station proper and you in the affidavit to confirm with the original copy he me signature i am lena and i will fax it to you i'm from kubona i want to see you don't lie i've i've done some law at wits so i understand that it is possible for me to send an official document without it being an actual signature he just wanted to agitate me i was right i was right when i was long bored i felt yo guys he was like rabo what me lenyo tropa these things off at you you must sign it and then i will come and pick it up or you can sign it straight away and if you if you funu or if you funu go zvonda i will wait for you to read them or i will come back another time to collect it yes he was acting so like in a professional capacity capacity like a lawyer that served me with papers that was basically the tantamount of a divorce i wasn't married to him but i know what it feels like for a person to file for a divorce when you are not ready i know we were not married but that was his action of divorcement out here and i was like go official my yeah Ah, guys get her to be like it cha me i didn't want to see him i didn't want to see him but he insisted i started avoiding his call i was like scan email that document scan and email dai tokomani he did not scan to email it this brazen bravado fired random ganstrosity rocked up at my apartment buzzed at the random gate and i was like hey man nja do we leave ange kufuni ngajali security guard ukuthi ngamvuleli lenja dog i told the security guard don't open for that little dog 
doggy dog. Security was like, sorry, brother, not opening for you. Brother was like, you don't have to open for me. Please, magapu, my galum niggas, I'll envelope you. Guys. I, 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 I don't even have to go in. Please, when she gets out, give her this envelope. He dropped it off with the security. And security had to, I mean, he can't just hold on to Amma Pepper. He can't just hold on to papers. Indeed, when I was driving out one morning, he was like, my sister, my sister, my sister, this is for you. I, I could not make war with the security guard, so I took it. Eish, guys. He broke my heart. Yes, what? That thing that he insisted on doing to me, he didn't even have to do it because I was right. I could have scanned and emailed and sent it to him. Marona well i took it and i left it in my car like literally it was just sitting in the back seat of my car i did nothing to it i was like i will scan and i, will, I actually took them the papers out from the envelope actually i didn't leave it in my car i took them from out of the envelope i signed them it's not like i, I insisted on staying and a partner or whatever i was content to do that but i signed these papers and then i scanned emailed and sent them to him he was like Karabu, i told you and again i told you that i was used to this guy calling me baby 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 so now sekele karabu 24 7 now i'm i'm karazi 24 7 i was like wow okay it's weird to hear this man calling me karabu but whatever it is what it is i guess right uh very well i uh i scanned to email it and then he calls me i don't want to take his calls but i can't ignore him because he is basically claiming to operate in a official business here so i'm like hey why are you calling me i sent you the document leave me alone all that jazz but i don't want you coming to my apartment okay i received it i signed it if you want me to go to the police station to get basically a signed affidavit and a stamp i will do even that but i already sent you that thing dude i don't want to see i don't want to see your face like what i have never in my life had that kind of quarrel with my ex our relationship was relatively calm and we were kind of cordial even in our former breakups we were always cordial let maybe this year was an ugly breakup it was an ugly breakup but to this dude wait again when i symbolism when i said this and and start singing one of jay-z's songs when i said that i'm going to go to the 666 like little uzi vert i looked to a upside down cross on his forehead his personality changed he became a brand spanking new man when i said that i said like taylor swift and Tyler um and then Katy Perry and cover the one eye and do an album cover proper. He was supposed to end up posing for the Illuminati. This dude changed the way that celebrities change from one album to the next. Coming out, Rihanna, bad girl gone, good girl gone bad. That's probably what probably what happened with this guy. He was rolling around in a freaking alter ego, and I did not know what its name was. It might as well have been Igor from the Adams family because it was that gothic. But he was not the man I met in 2006. He was already glitching and twitching in the run up to this particular day, but now he was completely transformed. And what transformed him? What finished off his process of evolution, metamorphosis into something beastly? It was Tabar Mudim Nampata. And the devil used the that to basically like finish him off. Finish him off. Ebatung. I was so crushed battered at this stage i was one of two i was at a four i had to make a choice i could either be an angry woman that's busy i slash the windows of your car he gets a jasmine sullivan or try and be calm and still and peaceable i'm busy i join these streets still going to church marayo wrath do you know wrath do you know anger oh do you know discontent hey i was working in it guys me i was about to go and kill a man hey i just shot a man down in central station in front of a big old crowd oh a kick is a rehon i'm a laughing oh mama 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 i just shot a man down i never meant to do it oh gosh whatever happened to me whatever happened to me whatever happened to me why did i pull it trigger pull it trigger pull it trigger boo i'm kill a man kill a man man so soon i'm a criminal criminal ever to oh lot of mercy judge please give me minimal I was literally about to shoot a man down. Hey, yeah, that dude mega risk a crash by coming to my apartment. I was at a crossroads. I'd never experienced that that a man of wrath in my heart before. I like I just did not know what was going on. This was spiritual. Even my anger and the re reaction. Uh, you know everything. The, like there was a, a spiritual war for days. Like there was a fight for our souls. It was the literally kingdom of darkness and light. Separation. The Lord has come upon the earth not to bring peace but a sword division and he divided me and my eggs literally a clean line in the scent and i was to go to the kingdom of heaven and he was to work for satan as a clean line right down the middle a man that i loved with every bone in my body and god put a sword between us 
Yeah. Why did I pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, boom, and kill a man and take a man's life so soon? I'm a criminal, criminal, criminal. Except before I indeed did that, oh Lord, of mercy, he had that mercy. Lomutlona, because I faxed or uh, emailed that document and minging a spy, Skelem Psyche, remember he rocked up at my apartment without me agreeing that he should come. Well, guess what? This time around, Wang Treba, he wanted me physically at my apartment. We go go gating. He, 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 he was stuck at the gate. I didn't let him come in and he dropped the dropped the dropped it off and said that he will come and pick it up and collect it i wouldn't let him come into my apartment but i mean really has to run all of it like office in young one about guys yes it's this guy mm. yo he was free we are with a ripping me apart tabula ever took don't cast your pearls to the pigs but my ex wasn't a pig at first he became give what a sacred to dogs this is unless they should trample them underfoot and then turn around and tear you to pieces that's what he did he came to my office i couldn't throw my toys out the cot them seven z next thing i get a call hi carabo how are you i'm good and you yeah, I know it's Cheryl from a reception. There is Nancy downstairs at the uh, at the reception for you. I was like, Phew. okay, Cheryl, I'll be right down. Hang up my phone, and I'm like, watching this person oko officing. I could not tell Cheryl. I don't know who that is. Tell him to get out. I could not be throwing my toys out the cot and causing a man to cause a scene. Go building a yam I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. So I had to be called. I had to be um. What do you call this thing? P professional. I was at work for crying out loud. He came to my workplace. Sim sim zin manje. Can't do strange things. Hey watching. Jo guys. Hey my ex broke me as well. He shattered me into ten thousand million gazillion pieces. I found him standing there. Go reception in uh my office and when i he was he, yeah i totally i remember he, he his legs were folded like one his his right leg on top of his left and he was standing there with his head slightly tilted just waiting for me to come out and he just had this cool disposition about himself like you swagger and jay that grunge up my ex that that arrogance that that pomp to walk around with that kind of swagger ngati really you you think you defecate ice cream that was never his disposition but he had it to that day he was a different man guys ngati they put him in a machine while puma angu satan Yar. he had swagger he was suave he had attitude he was indifferent yes like it yo man like i do yo but tongue get to angu satan Leave certain, leave the devil alone, guys. Here was this random nonsense in the reception. Go officing. Looking like a swaggerfied Rando. He looked like Harley from Temptation after giving Judith HIV. Anyway, what if? Here is this dude in the in the office go receptioning. I get out and I'm like still stomping my feet like a little huffing and puffing and throwing the house down. But I'm trying to keep my cool because I'm in the office. Hello. 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 Hey, you becoming my work is that what we're doing now yeah <laughs> he wasn't even angry he was suave not shut down i chew a bubble gum yo yeah if at all smoking was allowed indoors he might as well have even taken out a cigar like right there the way he had this like swagger about him <laughs> hey, evil hey, diabolical <laughs> i walk towards him and he as i walk towards him unfolds his legs you know the, how the right leg was on top of the left he opens the envelope takes it out as i'm walking towards him he even had a pen at hand he didn't have to ask the people at the reception to help him along basically just being like you're gonna sign here and here and here and i'll be out of your way it's that simple this guy treated me like i was a girl that cheated on him with his brother had his child but i was groveling for him to stay because he was the one that loved me most except i was a ride or die woman that helped him become the man he was and he was treating me like the bubble gum underneath his shoes and there was nothing nobody could do there was nothing anyone could say to unconvince him from this travesty. he became a monster i do it I, I was not gonna throw a scene in the office i took his papers and i signed where i found i guess my name to sign and i gave it back to him and after i gave it back to him he was like thank you what in the world? Ukarabolo, dude. This is Karabo. This is not just some willy nilly did like whatever. This is the woman that was right or die. Hey, but this is Karabo. What are you doing? This is Karabo. Just in case you're confused and you're blind, or maybe I don't know, you are hallucinating on mushrooms or something. You're seeing visions. This is not an alien. This is not some Jezebel. This is not some funny little thing with horns on it. This is Karabo. Oh sure, And he was like, Thank you. Guys, wamba lo moon. Land dog, ya hamba. Hey, move on to the next part.